Underneath the upper left-hand side panel is the fuse box and the air valve for your air shock. To remove this side panel, first step, we'll take the seat and fold it upward. Then I'm gonna place a rag inside of the passenger foot peg so I don't damage the side panel as I'm removing it. <clears throat> With firm pressure, you'll pull on the front and rear of the side panel, moving it up and forward out. You'll see once that side panel is removed, I have access to my fuse panel and my air valve. To remove the lower side panels, you'll, you'll need to remove the passenger foot peg first. To remove the passenger foot peg, you'll use an M8 Allen head wrench. When you go to reinstall the foot peg, you'll notice that it is doweled to the mount so it can't pivot. Just replace one fastener. Next step is to use your M6 Allen head and remove the three fasteners holding the side panel to the frame. It's removing the final fastener and the side panel will, can be removed. You'll notice the two covers that cover the accessory mounts do not need to be removed to remove the side panels. Once you have the lower side panel removed, you gain access to your, your swing arm pivot shaft. So to remove the upper side panel on the right-hand side, very similar to the left-hand side, I'm gonna fold my seat upward, and then using steady pressure, I can pull the front of the side panel and the rear of the side panel free and remove it. <clears throat> this will gain you access to the connector for your saddlebag. To remove the lower side panel, I'm gonna disconnect my saddlebag and remove the saddlebag from the bike by unlatching the lock and ride connectors. Once I do that, I can lift the bag away. Once the saddlebag has been removed, I can get full access to my lower side panel. First step will be to remove the passenger foot peg. Set that aside. And then, because of the proximity of the, the side panel to the exhaust, I'm gonna lower a rag or shop towel over the exhaust so I don't damage the paint on the side panel. So then to remove the side panel, you'll lift it off of the mounts and then pull the side panel rearward. You'll see the, the front portion of the side panel has a slot that fits on a rubber mount behind the output shaft cover.